welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here, as you all know. And today, you guys are in my car. I actually just came back from grocery shopping. And I was thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I should post this video today. And then I realized I never made an intro. Can you believe that? So we're gonna start this intro right now. So, for all of you who know me, I'm in Marist College, obviously. And I am a fashion design major. So, pretty much, I make clothes from bottom to the top. Everything from my ideas to me picking out the fabrics and all the notions that go with it That's all me and I really wanted to show you guys my process and just because like it's really interesting to just to like see What goes on like for behind the scenes before you guys see everything else on the runway? Um, so yeah, this jacket everybody has been asking me about how did it come about? What was my inspiration? And lucky for me, I recorded a good amount last semester of just how much I did and how much effort I put into this jacket. And I'm so excited to show you guys what went down. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that if you guys are future fashion majors, this one's for you. Uh, don't doubt yourself. Never, ever, ever doubt yourself. Like, you can do it. From the beginning to the end, yeah, it might be a little bit stressful, but you just have to keep pushing through it. Um, don't be freaked out because you never know if that like kind of like adrenaline that energy that you have if you're freaking out sometimes it can really push you and I think that's kind of what happened with me like I kind of got pushed by my own fear of like not finishing even though I was going to finish but it all works out at the end don't be afraid keep trying keep practicing what you're doing and keep being creative honestly like you got this.
there's gonna be some detailing over there, so I'll show you guys later when I'm in the process of that. But so far, this is just a draft. You can always trust on Martin Garrix to keep you awake at night. And also, I think I'm gonna get some pattern paper and lengthen out my pattern. Awesome, so I just retraced my pattern and I took another sheet of paper and I put it underneath so I could lengthen out my pattern. So just to see how the gathering would look under the sleeve, I just took my other pattern, which I showed you before, and I put the gathering under the sleeve so I could see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like for now. So for now, I'm just going back into editing mode because I'm not too sure if the length is fine, especially for the sleeve, it looks pretty wide. So I think I'm just gonna take my eraser and just erase a little bit from my new line and I think I'm just going to shorten that but look how long my pattern is holy crap now just to quickly see how long I would like my jacket to be I just quickly whipped up a drape and I put my pattern back onto muslin so I think this might be the one and I'm on the table because there is like absolutely no space for me to jump back and forth here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Looks good, looks good. I'm so happy with this right now. Oh my god. Look. Ah, perfect. The sleeve is fine. And I just have to add my detail, but... So far, so good. Look at that back. Awesome. Since I didn't want my pattern to be too straight, I just slash and spread my pattern. And it's just going to give me the fullness at the bottom that I want. And it's just going to float behind me. This is going to be perfect. Just keep watching. It's half fit sample time. So here's the fabric for my kimono. And here's the fabric for the gathering. Get ready for some ASMR fashion edition. So I just finished cutting and sewing my pattern pieces together. Now, I'm actually gonna put it together. Here's a quick little preview of my lineup for my final project. What do you guys think?
This is great. Veronica's helping me out. Love it. Love it. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, there's stamps all over this. So there was a stamp like this, like these, all over the front. So we're trying to get it off with water. Turns out my fabric I chose is water repellent, <laughs> which is amazing, I guess. That's but. like the craziest coincidence. Look at that. Oh, shit. Currently gathering my final fabric, and it took a little bit, but it's fine. We're making small pinches of gathering. All for this beauty. You are worth it. Check out my mood board. You guys may not know this about me, but when I'm done with something, I start playing Dua Lipa. Oh, I, I finished! I can't believe I finished, actually. These gatherings took forever, but you know what? It's all worth it at the end. This was an amazing experience. I'm so happy with the outcome. Like, goddamn, this is amazing. So here's just a little snippet about me talking about my kimono jacket. And I got to present to the faculty and to my classmates. I was really proud of this that day. And I also wanted to show you guys my classmates' work. They did an amazing job, and I'm really proud of us. So here I am posing for you guys with the jacket so you can see what it looks like on a person. It's very flowy. It moves around. It's very comfortable. And the best part is the orange fabric is water repellent, so... If you ever caught in the rain, it's all good. You guys can stop and pause if you want to read this email. I'm really excited to share this with you. Back in January, I received this and I had an opportunity to have my garment be considered for the exhibition in New York. And this is pretty much what happened. I'm so happy I finally got to share my creation of my take on the kimono jacket, which I've decided to name the rose jacket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and share to see more content like this on my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!